so hello this is only using transistor circuits and this is a rotary encoder circuit it uses a rotary encoder of a mouse the function of this circuit is to convert the signals generated by this rotary encoder into two separate clock pulses i will show you how this circuit works i will turn on the supply and now I will move this rotary encoder ahead. You can see that there is a clock pulse generated at the output of this transistor. And when we go backward, the clock pulse is generated across this transistor. So we get two separate clock pulses, both for forward and backward. And this is a very useful circuit when you have to make some directional indication and things like that. Where there is any axial, axial rotation across a point. So to make this circuit we need to understand how these signals are generated from this rotary encoder. And we need to really understand how to convert these signals into this type of clock separate clock signals so for that i will remove this two wires now this rotary encoder has three outputs output lines the sorry it has two output lines the third one is the common vcc pin, pin. will connect it to the vcc and we'll use this two wire to see the status, we will use these two LEDs. These two LEDs are common grounded. Its ground wire is common and we have soldered the resistor to its ground cathode pin. So now let's, now the initial status is 0, 0. So both the LEDs are off. Now I will bring my sheet to just note down the status we'll pause the video so yes now let's note down the values and this is for forward while we are moving the scroll forward so let's see what what is the data generated we we'll note down the initial 0 0 now this type of is a horizontal to table 0 0 now we'll move one step ahead 1 0 and again one step ahead 1 1 again one step ahead 0 1 and then 0 0 so this is the data generated uh, we will call this is a yellow signal and this is a blue signal yellow and blue so we we'll call this a green signal because I have a green color pencil to indicate the blue we are using green okay so this was for forward now let's check this out for ba backward backward same signals yellow and green initial status zero zero one step ahead one zero Sorry, one step backward we are going. One step back. Zero, one. Again back one step. One, one. Again back. One step back. Sorry, again one, one. It was one, one. Now one step back. Zero, one. Again one step back, zero, zero. So you can see the data is zero, zero, one, one, zero. And uh, from this you can notice that this two pair of ones are actually uh, shifted one bit to the right, to the left. Not to the right, okay. Shifted actually one bit to the right and here is shifted to the left. 
so it's the same uh, signal but just shifted by by one bit or you can call it a quarter cycle if you see the waveform now i will draw the waveforms and it will make it will be more clear that how this circuit is to be made so these are the waveforms these two are for forward and these two are for backward so for a moment i will close this backward waveforms and show you that how this waveforms are generated so as you can see that there is a rising edge when this yellow signal is high so when yellow is high there is a positive edge on the green signal so we need a positive edge detector when this yellow signal is high so we need a circuit obviously we need a positive edge detector because we are detecting a positive edge but that positive edge should be enabled only when yellow is high so we need a edge detector edge detector with enable with enable high that means when high is given to the enable it should detect a positive edge and that positive edge will indicate that it's going forward the scroll wheel is going forward now you can also notice that this signal is the same signal but shifted a quarter quarter cycle ahead the same signal is shifted quarter cycle ahead that's why it's called a quadrature phase shift now let's check for the backward now this is a backward waveform and in that you saw that when yellow was high there was a rising edge but here it's opposite when green is high green signal is high there is a rising edge on yellow so here we need a positive edge detector positive edge detector that enables when this green signal is high so to make this circuit we need two positive edge detectors which will detect for one it's enabling yellow signal and for one it's enabling green signal so green signal enables one positive edge trigger and for one positive edge trigger yellow signal enables another positive edge trigger so let's move on to the circuit diagram so yes this is the circuit diagram these two are the positive edge detectors that we are using to detect both forward and backward now this is a yellow signal and this is a green signal and this is the common vcc pin of the rotary encoder these two signals are from rotary encoder so when yellow is high this positive edge detector this transistor gets a positive 5 volt that means this positive edge detector here this positive edge detector gets activated that means now this positive edge detector is enabled and when it's high yellow signal is high a rising edge now it's zero so when it becomes one the rising edge the transition from zero to one is detected by this circuit and it gives a pulse to this transistor which then amplifies the output and you can see a bright flash when it goes ahead for ahead it was yellow high and then green becomes high so there is a rising edge detection for green signal in similar way for backward 
I will cancel this for backward green was high so when green is high the signal goes to goes sorry green this one is green the signal goes to the output of this transistor collector of this transistor now this positive edge detector is activated for backward and then yellow becomes from 0 to 1 and there is a detection of rising edge on yellow line and a output pulse is given to this transistor and you can see a bright LED flash and it's moving backward so in this way it detects the forward and backward rotations so yes thanks for watching and if you want to learn about positive edge detectors you can watch my video on positive and negative edge detectors the link is in the description and also to learn more about routine encoders there is also one video i will be giving the link in the description now to learn about routine encoders there are many type of routine encoders this one was incremental routine encoder quadrature incremental routine encoder so thanks for watching i hope you learned something and subscribe to my channel